Hi everybody, I'm Adam Lawrence, the Director of Clinical Nutrition at San Luis Valley Health. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about something near and dear to my heart in honor of National Nutrition Month. At the bottom of each nutrition label, right underneath of the rectangle, you're going to see an ingredients list. When you're looking at an ingredients list at the bottom of the label, those ingredients are always listed from largest amount to smallest. So here we have kind of like a standard breakfast bar. Anything pre-made like this and convenient is sort of notorious for potentially having hidden things that you may not be aware of. So for example, when I read on the back, I'm gonna see something in the ingredients list uh, called interesterified soybean oil. You may often see on diet labels uh, that it says zero grams of trans fat, but then if you read later on in the label and you know what to look for, that item may in fact uh, have trans fat in it. Interesterified fat is put into the food supply to try and get rid of trans fat, um, but what I will say is the initial research is not good. So something you don't want to be finding in your food products, um, but unfortunately it's becoming more and more common. So the next product I have here is kind of a valley favorite and it, it's a soft spot of mine and that's just pre-made tortillas. So when you go to the store and you're buying tortillas, what I will tell you is that the vast majority of almost all major brand tortillas tend to have trans fat and sometimes interesterified fats in them as well. When we read the ingredients list, right? And by the way, in the very top, it says that there are zero grams of trans fat. But when I read later on in the ingredients list, I see that there are interesterified and hydrogenated soybean oils. So whenever you see hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated in front of an oil in the ingredients list, there is indeed trans fat in that product. So this is just an alternative, right? This is just your standard yellow corn tortilla. And the interesting thing is that the vast majority of these, no matter where you buy them from, do not have trans fats, no hydrogenated oils in them. Another interesting thing is that sometimes when you just get the whole wheat version of a, a flour tortilla, you also are not getting uh, trans fats or interesterified fats. Two different peanut butters here, and one is just your standard, the other is natural. And believe it or not, sometimes you can find them side by side on the same grocery store shelf at the exact same price. But the difference is that when you buy standard original, this for sure contains trans fats. So if I read on the ingredient list, um, about the third ingredient is fully hydrogenated vegetable oil. So even though at the top it says zero grams trans fat, this for sure has trans fat in it. On the other hand, whenever a peanut butter has natural on the label, regardless of what the brand is, there is no trans fat in that product. So a couple other products that you might commonly purchase at a grocery store that are generally full of trans fats would be something like non-dairy creamer, microwave popcorn, another classic one. So I'd always recommend you getting popcorn kernels and doing it yourself on the stove with a high temperature oil, something like avocado oil because it has a high smoke point. And anything that's pr like a pre-baked or pre-made cookies and cakes also can often have trans fats. Some candies as well. Just make sure that you turn over the label and look at the ingredients list. But what I want to point out here is that a vast majority of sweet beverages that you're taking in today are full of artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners have been linked to all kinds of things, including increased risk for heart attack and stroke. Some other areas would be an alteration in GI microflora, which just means that it changes the bacterial uh, ratios in your GI tract, which is not a good thing. When you're looking at an ingredients list on the back of a product right below your main label, you should be looking out for these alternative sweeteners. I would rather you have sugar just in a smaller portion size than go with an alternative sweetener. So for example, in this particular product, as I read down, I see a very, very common artificial sweetener here called sucralose. If you're seeing sorbitol, mannitol, xylitol, erythritol, uh, sucralose. Stevia is kind of on the fence and we know it is a bit of a more natural version of an artificial sweetener. Aspartame, a susulfame K or a susulfame potassium, and saccharin. Those are all commonplace 
artificial sweeteners that I see in more and more products all the time. And that includes products that are marketed as healthy, low calorie, energy drinks, things like that. Anytime we chemically alter uh, a natural food product, it's always turned out in a negative light over time. It's important because a lot of these items, really in my opinion, should not be in the food supply. They're not healthy for us whatsoever, but unfortunately, they are becoming more and more ubiquitous in, in a variety of products. And especially when it comes to marketing things as a health product or low calorie or low carb, you really need to look out for these ingredients because when we market health foods, we often put these ingredients in a product that may not be so beneficial to human health. So this is just one small step to make a slightly better decision in your food product that can hopefully over time lead to you know, a much bigger improvement in your overall health.